What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about uh, the state of the world. You know, uh, we've got uh, Bruce Jenner, we've got the Confederate flag, we've got uh, Obama passing laws, and we've got Sony's fucking PlayStation Network going down constantly. And I gotta say, I'm more pissed off about the PlayStation Network than the other shit. We got legalized gay marriage, love wins. We've got all these issues. We got ISIS in the world, causing havoc, jihadists. But when I do a 10 hour day, 11 hour day like I did today, and I come home and I'm having issues with PlayStation's network, it makes me want to do a jihad on Sony. What is going on? Now I'm on the network now, it's working now. I had issues yesterday. They issued a statement that, we're sorry, our service is down again, so please take your controller and shove it up your ass. This is frustrating. I mean, come on. Sony, come on. You got all these people, you got all these millions of consumers who are eating up your product left and right. Left and right. But your competition is not having that same issue. Their network works. It works perfectly most of the time. I'm not going to say Microsoft has had a perfect year, not even close to perfect, but compared to Sony, I'm not, I, whenever I want to get on my Xbox One, bam, it's there. Bam, I can see my friends. Bam, I can see what's online. Bam, I can go to the store. I tried to go to the PlayStation Store yesterday. You know what happened? My, so, my PlayStation said, get the fuck away from me. It wouldn't let me do it. You guys know I love Sony. I'm more of a Sony PlayStation gamer. But it's getting to the point now where I'm starting to, to see the forest for the trees. I pay an annual premium for my PlayStation Network. I pay for this. I pay for my Xbox Live. But one of them feels like it's actually paid for. Now, don't take it to, don't, don't forget one thing. I'll, I'll say this, that kind of softens the blow of the network being down often. You get free games. Okay. We're getting free games from PlayStation Network, from PlayStation Plus, and that is an amazing service I think it is but there's nothing like the feeling you guys have got to understand where I'm coming from there's nothing like the feeling of knowing that I got two hours until I gotta go to sleep or an hour and a half so I gotta go to sleep and I want to get in a get in a game online I want to play destiny I want to do something and I can't do it that's extremely frustrating I think anybody in my position would be highly upset and all we get is uh, statements from Sony talking about it uh, we're going to repair the issue. We're so sorry. We're sorry. I, come on! Fix your shit! It cannot be that hard. Now, I know DDoS attacks are something that you cannot prevent. You know, there's going to be dickheads at DDoS. That's going to happen for the remainder of time. But when it comes to simple issues like your system update, crashing your system, that's a problem. You know, you need to have QA. You got to have quality assurance. You got to have people who look at this shit before you release it to the public because it is making your image worse and worse every time. If as a consumer I'm going to look forward to the PlayStation Network being down 40 times in a year, that's something that's going to put a damper on my excitement levels. There are certain people who get screwed over by PlayStation Network who only have PlayStation. Luckily for me, I got every system. I mean, I got every system. Yeah, I sit on controllers. Seriously, I got fucking every system on Earth. Really? You guys think I'm joking? I got, I got shit, right? So it's like if every network on Earth went down, I would still be able to, to play. But everybody's not as lucky as me, right? Some people, the lonely ones, only have or you have this, or God forbid, only have this. If you only got this, you're in a lot of trouble. I went on PlayStation Three. And the network was up, and I almost threw my PS3 out the window. That's how slow and ridiculous it was. All right? Sony, get your stuff together. This is from a PlayStation fan, right? I love PlayStation. I love Xbox. I love all of them. I love games. I sleep with them. I love games, right? But you've got to get your shit together if you want to keep people on your side. You guys do really good work when it comes to announcing games, when it comes to... Uh, fan friendly service you know 
basically E3 was like fan fiction for me. To me, it was like a uh, an homage to all the great games I loved growing up. But when I can't play them, it makes it a lot worse. You know, Microsoft, you guys continue to do what you're doing because you're gradually tugging on the heartstrings of people who want reliable service. I want reliable service, right? Yeah, I'll probably play uh, an Uncharted game before I will a Halo game. That's just my personal preference. But when the games come out on both, I'm going to go to the one that has the most reliable service, the most reliable network. And right now, Microsoft has it. They have a more reliable network. PlayStation Plus, yeah, it outshines Microsoft's Xbox Live's games of gold any month. You know, every every month they outshine that. But it's like you got to take the good and the bad. And I'm just trying to figure out what you guys are going to do to fix this problem. I'm a fan. I love gaming. You guys love gaming. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Am I am I blowing my load too early? Am I being too harsh? Is it unacceptable for me to feel this way after so many times of being let down by the service? I was let down by the service. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys were too. And it's frustrating. Let me know in the comments. You guys be sure to give a thumbs up. Thumbs up, soldier, to the Beastly Gamer channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time!